Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 6 mathematics class. Hope you all are doing great today. Let's start a new chapter today. Chapter 8, Introduction to Algebra. So before we talk more about algebra, let's revise about patterns. You have learned about patterns in your lower classes. What is a pattern? You can say a pattern is a regular arrangement of numbers, shapes or objects. And patterns in mathematics are usually sequences that repeat based on a pattern rule. And a pattern rule is a set way or a set method to find the next number in the series or the sequence. Now patterns are of different types. Patterns can be increasing patterns, decreasing patterns or repeating patterns. Now let's see examples for this. Increasing patterns. So here we have a mathematical pattern and a pattern involving symbols. So look at the mathematical pattern given here. See the numbers in the pattern or the sequence is increasing. So as the sequence is progressing, you can see the value is increasing. And you can see the value is getting increased by 2. So the next number in this sequence will be 10 plus 2 which is 12. So there is a pattern rule and here the pattern rule is to add 2 to the previous digit. And here you can see the size of this star is increasing. So in an increasing pattern, the value of the number, the value of the number or the size of the symbols increases. And here you can see decreasing patterns. So here in this mathematical pattern, you can see the numbers are decreasing by 10. 95 minus 10 is equal to 85, 85 minus 10 is equal to 75 and so on. So can you tell what is the next number in the sequence? It will be 65 minus 10, 55. And here there is a decreasing pattern which uses symbols. You can see the size is getting decreased. So in a decreasing pattern, the value or the size gets decreased. So now let's see examples for repeating patterns. So as the name suggests, so in a repeating pattern, the numbers or the symbols repeat again and again based on a pattern rule. Here you can see two examples for repeating patterns. The first one in this mathematical pattern, here you can see the numbers 3 and 4 are repeating again and again. And here the symbols for sun and cloud are repeating. So that's about the three different types of patterns that we usually see. Now here I have a table here and it has got two rows. You can see the numbers in the first row and the numbers in the second row follow a pattern. Now look at the first column. The number in row 1 is 1 and the number in row 2 is 2. Now in the second column the number here is 2 and in the second row it is 4. You can see this 2 is 2 times 1 and this 4 is 2 times 2 and the 6 is 2 times 3. So if the numbers in the first row can be represented using the letter n and if the numbers in the second row are represented using the letter x. In general you can say a number x which is in row 2 will be equal to 2 times n where n is a number in the first row or you can write it like x is equal to 2 times n or x is equal to 2 into n. So if that is the case, can you tell what is the number that comes here? So if the number here is 4, what would be the number in the second row corresponding to 4? Let's apply this pattern rule there. So x will be equal to 2 times n. What is n here? n is 4 here. So let's put 4 here and it is equal to 8. So here the number will be 8. Now what if n is 5? The number that should come here will be 2 times 5. That is x is equal to 2 times n. Here n is equal to 5. So let's substitute the value here. This will be equal to 10. So here the number will be 10. So you can see the numbers in the second row 
follows a pattern rule that is x is equal to 2 times n where n represent the numbers in the first row. So in this problem these two numbers were unknown to us. We had to find the numbers based on the pattern rule and we used two letters here to form the pattern rule or to form a mathematical expression to solve this problem to find the solution to this problem. So when you use letters to form mathematical expressions like this to solve a problem such an expression is called an algebraic expression. So now let's talk about algebra. You can say algebra is that branch of mathematics that helps us to represent real life problems or situations into mathematical expressions that involves letters or symbols and mathematical operators. Or you can say algebra is all about finding unknowns by substituting numbers by letters or symbols and solving the expression thus obtained by using mathematical operations such as addition, subtraction, division and multiplication. So here you can see two algebraic expressions 3x plus 4 is equal to 28 that's an algebraic expression 4x minus 1 is equal to y. So when you apply values to the x or y as per our requirement we'll be able to find the unknown or the solution to a problem. So this was a brief introduction to algebra. I hope you have got an idea about algebra. You have to go to the flashback exercise given at the beginning of this chapter. This is given in page number 112. Just go through the questions. It's all about patterns. You can write the answer there in the textbook itself. And once you're done with the answers, please do take a picture and send this to teams. That's all for today, children. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye. Mm -hmm.